This afternoon, the New England Patriots returning to practice amidst a firestorm. Explosive sexual assault allegations against the team's new star wide receiver, Antonio Brown. In a newly filed civil lawsuit, his former trainer, Brittany Taylor, saying Brown used manipulation and false promises to lure her into his world. And once there, he sexually assaulted and raped her. This coming just days after Brown, known for his raw talent and off field antics, signed a $15 million contract with the Patriots. Today, his first official practice. Roethlisberger, end zone, touchdown, Antonio Brown. All eyes now on whether Brown will play in this Sunday's game and how the NFL will respond. This is just the latest in a league that has been tested on how seriously it takes accusations of assault. This is about much more than Antonio Brown. It's about the National Football League, how it handles these issues, and how it listens to women. Brittany Taylor is a young woman who was a gymnast at Central Michigan. She met Antonio Brown when they were in Bible study together there. Over the years, they got in contact and she started training him. But in June 2017, things seemingly took a turn. Brown had established himself as one of the league's most dynamic players and was coming off of his fifth career Pro Bowl selection as a wide receiver for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Taylor alleges in court documents that Brown had just begun off-season training with her when he walked into a bathroom she was in with his penis exposed, later grabbing and kissing her without consent. Later that month, while she was watching a religious video on her iPad, she says he began masturbating behind her and ejaculated on her back. She says she cut off contact with him. But nearly nine months later, Taylor says Brown sent her a message apologizing and asked her to train him again. She says she agreed on the condition that he stop flirting with her and provide hotel accommodations for each trip. But one month later, she alleges that he violently raped her in his home after a night at a club. Taylor says the alleged rape has severely traumatized her and she now experiences near daily panic attacks, frequent suicidal ideations and insomnia. We know that often it can be difficult for people to come forward. And she has put her name right out there. Another key part of this is Brittany Taylor has said that she will cooperate with the National Football League and that she will help them in their investigation. Brown has not been charged criminally and in a statement from his attorney denies each and every allegation in the lawsuit, adding any sexual interaction with Mr. Brown was entirely consensual. A sentiment which was repeated by Brown's power agent, Drew Rosenhaus, who took his defense one step further. This is a money grab. In my opinion, this is a money grab. Antonio will cooperate. He will cooperate with the Patriots, with the NFL, with any investigation with the NFLPA and in time, Antonio will be cleared. These allegations in the lawsuit are false. Essentially, the claim is this, that on multiple occasions, Brittany Taylor is saying Antonio Brown sexually assaulted her. As a result, she suffered tremendous pain and suffering. And because of that, she is saying, I am entitled to money damages. The lawsuit reportedly catching the Patriots off guard. The team issuing a statement saying, we are aware of the civil lawsuit that was filed against Antonio Brown, as well as the response by Antonio's representatives. We take these allegations very seriously. Under no circumstance does this organization condone sexual violence or assault. The league has informed us that they will be investigating. Today, his new coach, Bill Belichick, and quarterback Tom Brady tight-lipped at an afternoon press conference. Okay. Bill, were you aware of the lawsuit when you signed Antonio Brown? I'm not going to be expanding on the statements that have already been given. Don't you think the fans deserve to hear a little more from you? On when we know more, we'll say more. Do you have any comment at all on the Antonio Brown allegations that are out there? No. The commissioner of the league has a tool to take care of this for right now and to put Antonio Brown on the commissioner's exempt list. Doesn't mean he's guilty, doesn't mean he's innocent. It's paid leave. You basically get out of the way. The Washington Post is reporting the league is considering the commissioner's exemption list. Brown touchdown! Brown, at one point, the NFL's highest paid wide receiver, is a perennial All-Pro. Antonio Brown is one of the best players in the NFL, certainly one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. This man can do things that no other wide receiver can do. He's not the biggest guy. 
He's not the strongest guy, he's not the fastest guy, but he's all hard on the field. His in-your-face personality on and off the field, making him a marketer's dream. I'll take Antonio Brown, please. He secured endorsement deals with brands like Campbell's Soup, Nike, Pepsi, and others. This is the best one right here. But moments like this, raising eyebrows. In July, tweeting a video showing him arriving to a training camp in Napa in a hot air balloon. It's time to get to work, baby. His antics dominating the summer sports news cycle. This is a new one. Right. Frostbite. I'm happy to see everyone here is doing better than Antonio Brown. Sidelined indefinitely after a cryotherapy mishap. His feet were frostbitten, which he shared in the HBO series Hard Knocks. I was training and I was trying cold therapy to recover my body. And I got out and I felt my foot burning. As if the frostbitten feet thing wasn't bad enough, Antonio Brown had another issue within days. You see, in the NFL, they have only certain kinds of helmets that can be worn for safety issues, they say. Well, it turns out that the helmet that Antonio Brown was wearing, one that he had worn all his career, was no longer okay with the league. He was not allowed to wear it. Brown sitting out for much of the preseason, insisting he should be allowed to wear his old helmet. Then earlier this month, the Raiders fined him $215,000 for conduct detrimental to the team, to which Brown responded on Instagram saying, you are going to piss a lot of people off when you start doing what's best for you. Release me, Raiders. Then four days ago, after reports surfaced of a near physical fight between Brown and the Raiders general manager, Mike Mayock, Brown posted this Instagram video when he found out he'd been released by the team. Fly like an eagle. And now just days after signing with the Patriots, replete with what appears to be a picture posted on Barstool Sports showing Brown with his new quarterback, Tom Brady, his future on the football field is in the hands of the league's investigators. As Brown's reps prepare to counter Sue, Brittany Taylor is seeking unspecified damages and is demanding a jury trial. We don't know if Antonio Brown is telling the truth or if Brittany Taylor is telling the truth. This is a case, plain and simple, of listening to a woman. Is the NFL going to listen to Brittany Taylor? Everyone's saying they're going to take this seriously. Are they? For Nightline, I'm Paula Ferris in Foxborough, Massachusetts. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.